I get into that Jada Pinkett interview last night? I said, not Pac had alopecia. Did Pac know he had a slight case of alopecia? I don't think nobody knew that in the 90s, Jada. Because <laughs> it wasn't allopopular to call it aloe anything. You was just bald or, you know, yeah, cradle cap. Or somebody tell you, well, maybe he got dandruff. Dry scalp. He took out his daddy or so. People won't call it an aloe, nothing. I said, did Pac know that? Girl, you're going to have to save some for the readers, Jada. You just letting all the cats out the bag. I was like, oh, my God. By the time I read the book, I'm going to be like, I already know. Pac had alopecia. And that ain't the part that behooved me. What behooved me was if Pac had it, I felt like everybody in the 90s had it. Shit, especially the R&B singers. At one time, the requirement to be an R&B artist was be bald. Ask Joe. He want to know what turns you on. Shit, obviously a chocolate bald head man. Because R. Kelly was bald. Shit, then he popped up with hair. We was like, damn, you can't sprout some out that scalp. Then Tyrese was bald. Shit, he was bald. That's why they stuck him in baby boy. Because most babies are born bald. Well, from what I've seen. <laughs> I mean, the whole cast of Moesha was bald. Come on now. The only people had hair was the dad and uncle. I said, what Frank Mitchell and Uncle Bernie do? But everybody in high school was bald shit. The requirements to be in Moesha's boyfriend was be bald. Ask Hakeem, Ohaji, and Q. <laughs> Jada, you're going to have to save some for a reader or two. I, I can't keep up with you. 